section 189 vaisampayana said and those youthful princes adorned with earrings weighing with one another and each regarding himself accomplished in arms and gifted with might stood up brandishing their weapons and intoxicated with pride of beauty prowess lineage knowledge wealth and youth they were like himalayan elephants in the susan half root with crowns split from excess of temporal juice and beholding each other with jealousy and influenced by the god of desire they suddenly rose up from their royal seats exclaiming krishna shall be mine and the kshatriyas assembled in the tampi theater each desirous of winning the daughter of drupada looked like the celestial of old standing round huma the daughter of the king of mountains afflicted with the shafts of the god of the flowery bow and with heart utterly lost in the contemplation of krishna those princes descended into the amphitheater for winning the panchala maiden and began to regard even their best friends with jealousy and there came also the celestials and their cause with the rudras and the hadityas the vasus and the twin ashwins the swadas and all the marutas and kuvera with yama walking ahead and there came also the daityas and the suparnas the great nagas and the celestial rishis the guhyakas and the charanas and vishwavasu and narada and parvata and the principal gandharvas with the hapsaras and halayuda valadeva and janardana krishna and the chief of the rishni andaka and yadava tribes who obeyed the leadership of krishna were also there leading the scene and beholding those elephants in ruth the five pandavas attracted towards draupadi like mighty elephants towards a lake over grown with lotuses are like fire covered with ashes krishna the foremost of yadu heroes began to reflect and he said han to rama valadeva that is yudhishthira that is bhima with jishnu arjuna and those are the twin heroes and rama surveying them slowly cast a glance of satisfaction at krishna biting their nether lips in wrath and the other heroes there sons and grandsons of kings with their eyes and hearts and thoughts set on krishna looked with expanded eyes on draupadi alone without noticing the pandavas and the sons of prita also of mighty arms and the helestrias twin heroes beholding draupadi were all like while struck by the shafts of kama and crowded with celestial rishis and gandharvas and suparnas and nagas and asuras and siddhas and filled with celestial perfumes and scattered over with celestial flowers and resounding with the kettle drum and the deep hum of infinite voices and echoing with the softer music of the flute the veena and the tabor the cars of the celestials could scarcely find a passage through the firmament then those princes karna duryodhana salva salya ashwatthama krata sunita vakra the ruler of kalinga and manga pandya pondra the ruler of vidheha the chief of yavanas and many other sons and grandsons of kings sovereigns of territories with eyes like lotus petals one after another began to exhibit prowess for winning that made an of unrivaled beauty adorned with crowns garlands bracelets and other ornaments endued with mighty arms possessed of prowess and vigor and bursting with strength and energy those princes could not even in imagination string that bow of extraordinary stiffness and some amongst those kings in exerting with swelling lips each according to his strength education skill and energy 
It seemed that Bob was tossed on the ground and lay perfectly motionless for some time. Their strength spent and their crowns and garlands loosened from their persons. They began to pant for breath and their ambition of winning that fair maiden was cold. tossed by that top bow and their garlands and bracelets and other ornaments disordered they began to utter exclamations of awe and that assemblage of monarchs they hope of obtaining krishna ghan looked sad and woeful and beholding the plight of those monarchs karna that foremost of all Wielders of the bow went to where the bow was, and quickly raising it, stringed it soon and placed the arrows on the string. And beholding the son of Surya, Karna of the Sutta, tried like on to fire her Soma or Surya himself, resolved to shoot the mark. Those foremost of bowmen, the sons of Pandu, regarded the mark as already shot. and brought down upon the ground but seeing karna draupadi loudly said i will not select a suta for my lord then karna laughing in vexation and casting a glance at the sun three was said the mo already drawn in a into a circle then when all the kshatriyas gave up the task the heroic king of the chevis Mighty has Yama, Pluto himself, the illustrious and determined Shishupala, the son of Dhamagosha, in endeavouring to string the bow himself, fell upon his knees on the ground. Then King Jarasandha, endued with great strength and powers, approaching the bow, stood there for some moment, fixed and motionless like a mountain, tossed by the bow. He too fell upon his knees on the ground, and rising up, the monarch left the amphitheatre for returning to his kingdom. When the great hero Salya, the king of Madra, endued with great strength in endeavouring to string the bow, fell upon his knees on the ground. At last, when in that assemblage, consisting of highly respected. highly respectable people all the monarchs had become subjects of derisive talk that foremost of heroes jishnu the son of kunti desired to string the bow and place the arrows on the bow string the sense the 189 section in the swayamvara parva of the hari parva 